Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. I'll talk about a study that just came out a few weeks ago, which is turning everything upside down. And the egg industry, the dairy industry, and the cattle industry are, are scared and they're quickly doing damage control because this one is hard to overlook. It turns out that there's an amino acid in meat called L-carnitine. Have you heard of L-carnitine? Anybody know about the, this study that was done a few weeks ago? Okay, well, it's a lot more information has come out since because people are debating it across the board because it's threatening a lot of industries. Well, L-carnitine is not an essential amino acid because our bodies can make it. We can manufacture it. When you consume it, you create a certain gut flora profile. Those people that eat vegan diets have certain gut flora that thrive. Those people that eat an omnivorous diet, I won't say carnivores because that's not all they eat is meat. Those people that eat an omnivorous diet where meat and dairy and eggs are part of their diet, they're going to have very different gut flora. The bacteria that live inside mostly in our colon. These gut flora like to munch on the foods that we eat. So if you have L-carnitine in your diet, which is prevalent in meat, there's a lot of it in meat, the gut bacteria for a meat eater will eat the L-carnitine. And when it does, it releases a compound, a byproduct of L-carnitine metabolism called TMAO. TMAO is implicated as the leading cause of heart disease. It is the reason, or one of the main reasons, that your endothelium, the cells that line your arteries, it is one of the reasons, one of the biggest, that they become damaged. Excess sugar in the blood is another. So if you have TMAO in your blood and it readily gets into the bloodstream from the gut, it damages your endothelial cells and causes arterial inflammation. So people that eat meat are in a state of constant inflammation from the TMAO. They thought it was fat. They thought it was the animal fat. And there are some problems with animal fat, and I'll get into that in a moment. But it's really the TMAO that's causing most of this inflammation. Energy drinks, Red Bull, Monster, uh, Amped, any of those drinks, they are full of L-carnitine. Because L-carnitine is the amino acid that shuttles fat into the mitochondria to be burned. So if you want to be burning fat, you need lots of L-carnitine. Because that's the amino acid that takes fat and sends it to the furnace. It's, got, it's the guy with the coal shovel, shoveling the fat into the furnace to be burned. So they put it in energy drinks. Because, oh, L-carnitine is going to make me burn fat. You don't have to eat meat. You can be a vegan. But if you're consuming L-carnitine, you're going to start growing the bacteria that like to eat L-carnitine. So you're going to have the gut profile of a meat eater, even though you're a vegan. And you're going to get the same level of inflammation in your arteries just from doing these energy drinks or many diet supplements. Many diet pills have L-carnitine in it. The fish industry was like, whew, very little L-carnitine in fish, we're off the hook. Fish have TMAO in them. They've got the bad guy. You don't even have to convert it. It's already in fish. Fish is full of TMAO. Okay, so the fish are on the hook. They're not off the hook. Eggs and dairy, they're like, whoo, no L-carnitine in eggs and dairy. Yes! Right? Well, guess what is in eggs and dairy? No, not TMAO. Eggs and dairy are full of something called choline. Who's heard of choline? Choline's really good because the brain wants a lot of choline. The brain requires choline. In fact, the egg industry tells you in their advertisements one of the best reasons to eat eggs is the choline. Except that choline is very, very similar to L-carnitine. In fact, the bacteria that eat L-carnitine eat choline, and guess what they do with it? They turn it into TMAO. This study is turning, you know, all animal foods upside down because all animal foods end up with a result of chronic inflammation of the arteries from the TMAO. 
only vegans are safe from this because a vegetarian that's eating eggs or eating dairy, they've got the same arterial inflammation as a meat eater. So it's only the vegans that are really safe from this type of inflammation unless they're consuming lots of refined sugar and then they have other types from the excess sugar. So whole foods, plant foods, just foods, that's really what it all comes down to. So there's a lot of racket back and forth about this. And the paleo people are scared too. They're like, oh, yeah, okay, we're just going to go just fat because if you're just eating the fat, you're not going to get the TMAO or the choline or the L-carnitine. So eat your fat. Eat that saturated fat. Eat a pound of butter a day. And that's what many of the paleo primal people are now doing is just massive amounts of animal fat. 